Hey, welcome to 40 Days with Jesus. You have made it. You're here, you're at day one, you have not gotten lost, and we are going to spend the next 40 days together going deeper in our understanding of who God is, how he's revealed himself in the Gospel of John, and some things that you can do to understand scripture more fully and that will really help you in your relationship with God. So, let's dive in. John 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Man, I love this. I love that in the first verse of John 1, we are already being told that Jesus, as the Word of God, is divine. We see that the divinity of Jesus is on verse 1 of chapter 1. It's there. It's there in the beginning, right? And so... This, uh, this reflects that time that John, the author, has had to sit back and look over the other Gospels to examine uh, really the impact of the life of Jesus and his teachings and his thought and said, all right, what does this really all come down to? And he identifies the person of Jesus Christ with the eternal Word of God. That is so important because some people fall into the ditch of like thinking that the book is divine and we have a, a whole group of people that are worshiping a book. It's so important that we keep in mind that the Word of God is not a book that can be bound, but it is a person who death could not conquer. And so I want to enc encourage you to lean in and over these next 40 days seek to encounter the Word that was there in the beginning, the person, Jesus Christ. So as we unpack this a little bit further, you get down and you get to verse 14 and we read about the Word becoming flesh and dwelling among us. Uh, Eugene Peterson translated this in the message as the Word became flesh and blood and moved into the neighborhood. That's such a beautiful concept. The, the word there for dwell or move into the neighborhood is the same Greek word that was used to translate the tabernacle in the Old Testament. So that's a symbol of the presence of God coming and moving among his people. And so these are the key themes for me in this first half of, of the Gospel of John, or first half of the first chapter of the Gospel of John, is that, man, in the beginning is Jesus as the Word. The Word of God becoming flesh in Jesus Christ is really the, a symbol of the presence of God becoming mobile in the midst of his people. No longer can the, the presence of God be contained only in the temple, but now the presence of God is on the loose again, moving among his people. And so as we read the rest of John, we'll pay attention to the way that that disrupts what people expect. The religious people have ideas and expectations of what it should look like when God is moving among the people, and Jesus turns those on their head. And we will dive into that as we move forward. So. Stick around for tomorrow for day two as we dive into the second half of chapter one in the Gospel of John and we talk about some key names that Jesus has given and how those will play out in the rest of the Gospel.